welcome back everyone to another Grand Theft Auto 5 video and in today's video I will be showing you guys how you can actually make a very quick $102,000 in just under 2 minutes. So just beginning with this with Rockstar Games doing their weekly update to GTA Online every Thursday. With the weekly updates normally what they do is they reset the pony vehicle, do different discounts to the game, do different double money or sometimes triple money in RP on different missions, diverse remotes and etc. But what they also do for the weekly updates is reset the weekly time trial. So as for our weekly time trial for this week, we have Mount Gordo, which had to be in a part time of just 46 seconds. Now for this one, this will be an off-roading. And so I believe for this one, you're just having to follow this entire route. And so the vehicle I recommend was just two different vehicles. The first one, which is going to be the main one, and the vehicle right behind me is the Shih Tzu Kagu Drag Bike. This is a motorcycle that you could purchase from Legendary Motorsport for a price of $976,000. And if you want to do the full upgrades as in transmission and everything like that, you're looking around the $1.3 million range. So it's a very expensive bike. But the great thing is if you buy it and use it for time trials, I've never had a time trial where this has let me down. So this one is like the best one for making money off of it. But if you want to go a cheaper route, I also recommend the buy Toyota one over at San Andreas Super Autos, which only costs you fifteen thousand. I was trying to find it here. There it is. So this is fifteen thousand dollars. Also, you may see uh, this vehicle with some NPCs driving on the road. If you are still that vehicle, you can go to the auto shop and then of course get like a uh, insurance for it. And of course, you can own it that way. Yeah. Now, personally, I think $15,000 is not that much here, so it's better to do that. And then, of course, you want to upgrade it fully. If you don't upgrade it fully, this will not work for time trials. It's going to be too slow, so make sure to have it fully upgraded. And at this point on, once you have a vehicle that you want to use for the time trial, the next thing you want to do is make your way there. So like I just said, it's over at Mount Gordo, so it's going to be located kind of near the Sandy Shores airfield. And so just to keep that in mind... Once you find it, which will have this logo, just go ahead and make your way there. And the next thing I recommend doing is actually starting it up, which I do have to set my display on so you can see the mini-map. So go ahead and start up the time trial, and then from here you want to set a waypoint to the destination. That way you know exactly where to go. So it looks like for this one, I may have been incorrect. So I don't think you need a destination point because I went this route before and it has not worked well for me your best spot here is to follow this little line and then kind of do like cutting across this part and just keep on going straight. I'll show you more in depth, but from here, once you start it up, just go ahead and respawn to actually restart the entire time trial. Once you respawn, it'll spawn you right next to the time trial. And from here, the very last thing I recommend doing it is getting as far back as possible, but you still want to get the indicator started up. So it looks like this is as far back as I can get to while still getting the indicator. And so once you're ready, just go ahead and start up the job. There we go. So I was able to beat it this time. This did take a lot of attempts here. I got $101,000. This took four attempts, which is way more than I was wanting here. Uh, but that was the route that I went. So I will go ahead and like show you the entire thing. 
And so at this point on it, that is the entire time trial. So now that we got that completed, I know I was going to say I was going to do this for the video, but I decided because of how short this was, I am going to go ahead and show you guys another time trial, which will be the RC Bandito time trial. Now, this one will have a requirement. You're going to need to purchase an RC Bandito. But first, let's go ahead and make your way there. So, in order to find RC Bandito on the map, you can go to the right side and just keep on going until you find it. Or you can try to look for a purple controller icon. So, this is what you want to look for right here. And once you find it, which this will be beside the Dime Casino, just go ahead and make your way there. So once you make your way there, in order to purchase an RC Bandito, you first want to go over to the Star and Sign Dre Super Autos website, then go to Special, and you should find it. So this is RC Bandito. It's pretty expensive at $1,590,000. But if you think about it similar to the time trial, if you were to buy this, you can make your money back in a little bit. It will take you a while to make your money back because you're only making 100000 each go around it. But you'll make it back soon enough, so I definitely think it's recommended actually getting this. So once you purchase the RC Bandito, all you should need to do at this point is walk up to it. And as long as you have it owned, it should allow you to start the time trial. So with this time trial, it's a bit different than the regular one. So with regular time trial, you're usually just going from one area to the finish line. But with this one, you're having to go through a whole series of checkpoints. So we were able to beat this with 10 seconds remaining, which is a great amount of time. So for this one, we made a total of $51,000 as well as a decent amount of RP. I didn't mention it, but doing the time trial from the last one, we also got RP as well. But you don't make that much compared to the money that you make. So just keep that in mind. And so there you guys go. That is your very quick money and RP method. Just want to make the video because number one, you really don't need anything. And number two, this is for new beginner players because of how much money you can make in that short amount of time. So of course, just make sure with the regular time trial, you can use an NPC vehicle if you want to. It Like the Bontiano one, for example, I'm sure you can find it, someone driving it. It's a great vehicle used for that time trial. As for the RC Bandito, you are going to need to purchase one. That's the only downside to it. But there you guys go. Hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, feel free to like and subscribe for more GTA 5 videos and content just like this. And with that being said, you guys have a great one. Stay safe out there and goodbye.